Do you want to create high quality pro videos like this and automatically post them to your favorite social media channels on autopilot? Well, in this video, I'll show you the exact automation that does this in three easy steps. No tech skills required. You can also download the automation and the video generation prompt for free in my school community. First up, I'll show you how the automation works and how to set it up. And then I will show you how to generate these types of videos so you can post them to your social media and build your brand and your business. To build this automation, you'll need a couple of things. You will need an N18 account. I use N18 Cloud. There'll be a link in the description that will get you a 14 day free trial if you want to give this a go. The other thing we'll need is a Blotato account. Again, you can get a 14 day free trial. There'll be a link in the description. Check it out. Once you've got these two tools, the only other thing we need is a Google Drive, which most people have. So now we can start building this automation. Like with every automation, we need a trigger. So we'll just use a manual trigger for now. And next we're going to get a Google Sheet. We're going to get a row in a Google Sheet. So we'll configure this. So this node's now set up. I've got a Google Sheet, which looks just like this. So we've got three columns. We've got a caption, a URL, and a status. This URL is just the link to a video that's been generated and stored in Google Drive. Later in the video, I will show you how to generate these videos. But for now, this is the Google Sheet we're linking to. Once we link to it, we just want to filter on the column status and where it has the value of ready. And then further down, we have this combined filters we only want to match with the first row. So every time it runs, if the video status is ready, it will run, grab that video and move to the next step. So the next thing we want to do is execute the step. So we have the data available for our next node. And there we go. It is grab row three, which is the next ready video to post. So next we're going to do a set node. So just press plus set. And then we're going to add a field. The value of the field is going to be what I've just pasted in. Don't worry about this. This is just a regex pattern to extract the ID of the video, which we need for the next step. We'll give it a name, video ID, and then we can execute this one. And there you can see this is pulled out the exact video ID from, from here, which is that. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy up our canvas here so it looks a bit more like what I showed you and where we're heading. All right, so now we're going to add the Blotato node, and there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. If you're using the cloud version of N8N, you just want to go into the admin panel and make sure you have community nodes enabled. So if I go up to the plus button again and type in Blotato, you can see I get this Blotato and it's got this little check mark next to, next to it, which means it's maintained by Blotato, but it is a community node and it's available. So just click on that one and we're going to upload media. Now the URL, it's actually going to use this video ID, but there's a bit of a string we need to put in here. Don't worry about this too much because if you want to build this, you can grab the automation template in the school community. But this is what it looks like. And if I execute this, the node ran successfully and this video has been uploaded into Blotato. Now, if you're wondering how I actually connected to Blotato, I've already connected to it previously, but it's super easy. Just on the credentials, you just click on the little pencil icon, and the only thing you have to do is actually paste in the API key. So it is super easy. When you have a Blotato account, bottom left, there's a settings button. Click on it, next tab, API key, generate, paste it in here, and you are good. The only thing we need to do now is add a social media node and whichever ones we want to use. So I'll set up YouTube. So again, go to Blotato. Create a post on to YouTube, just down the bottom here. The URL, media URL, will be this. The text, this is what's going to appear in the in the description area for, for YouTube. So for now, I'm just going to open up this one here, and I can get the caption that I had in the spreadsheet. And I'm going to use that for the video title for now as well. Now, when I post it over to YouTube, I'm actually going to set it as unlisted so I can check it out before it goes public. And that is all we need to do. So now before I go and post this and show you how it appears on YouTube, I just want to add the tracking in so that every time we post a video, it updates the spreadsheet. To do that, I'm just going to click on here and go for a Google Sheet. 
and we want to update a row in a sheet. And so we select column to match on, it's a row number, and we've got the row number here somewhere, row number three. So we just drag that over here. And for the status, when this runs, we just want to update it to be published. Something like that. That is all we need to do there. All right, so this is all set up. We're ready to roll. If I run this, it's actually going to post directly to YouTube now. But if you want to generate multiple posts to social media, like to Instagram, X, Facebook, Pinterest, whatever you like, it's pretty easy. So you just click on here again, go to Blotato and create a post. And then you can select from any of these social media platforms. Okay, so now it's time to post our video. This is the test or demo YouTube account. So in theory, if I trigger this, we should get this video going. I should be able to just go in here and press execute and it'll post. And it says it has, which was super quick. So let's go over here. Now, if I refresh this, here's the video. It says get online ninja, it's processing. It should be available shortly, so it's not visible yet. We'll come back to here in a minute and we'll watch it. Okay, so I've been generating these videos using Google's Flow and it's using VO3 fast. So unlike some of the other applications that use VO3, you can do these relatively quick and they only cost around 20 cents to generate. This is Google's Flow platform and it's probably the cheapest and quickest way of generating super high quality videos. Maybe videos that previously you might have to pay five, ten, fifty thousand dollars to generate. It's quite incredible. So once you've signed up and you have a Flow account, you'll get a screen that looks something like this, but it probably won't have any videos. And what I'm using is text to video. So I'm going to show you a prompt that generates these types of videos. And if you just change the parameters, you can do it manually or you can give it to an AI and just update what you'd like to see in the video and you can start generating your own. So believe it or not, this is the actual prompt that we enter in. It's actually in JSON format and it starts off with a description. So I won't read through it all, but basically a cinematic shot of a Venice Beach bedroom. If I copy this and we go back over to Flow and I paste that prompt in there, we can generate two more versions. Now up the top here, super important, take, take note of this. If you click on here, you can see outputs. I've chosen two outputs, so this is 40 cents to run this, but you can do up to four at a time, but you'll chew through your credits pretty quick if you do. I select two, and you can see VO3 fast. VO3 quality will cost five times as much, so about a dollar a video. So I'm staying with VO3 fast, which I found generates pretty good videos. So with that said, I can press go, and we can take a look at two new versions of this style of video. Okay, so both videos have now generated and we can take a look. Okay, pretty good. And the other one. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to press pause on that. Now, if you want to download them, pretty easy, just hit the download button. Once that has happened, to follow along with the process that I've shown today, I just drop the videos straight into a Google Drive, and then I share it. And when you'll get a share link, and you can put it into the Google Sheet, and that's how this runs. Now, if you would like to get your hands on the automation and just import it into N8N and not build it, super easy, just head over to Ambitious AI School Community. There'll be a link in the description. It's 100% free. Head to the classroom and you'll find it there. And also, if you really want to level up your online game, build smarter, grow faster with AI, check out my paid community here. There will be a link in the description for this also. Anyway, I hope you got a bit of value from this video. If you did, consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.